All right, so we're gonna see the cloud come back out from uh, uh from um the buzz, who's just freely allowed to charge all of it. Meanwhile, CWS just kind of throwing out some space control, running back and forth. Red team respecting it the entire time. And all right, and this is almost identical to what we saw in the winners' finals towards those last couple of games. Obviously, the only difference uh, being is, is that Lucina, but yeah. um. I think, well, oh Ooh. my god, the buzz is sick. He's going to die for it. Yeah, though. he's going to end up losing his stock, but it ended up being worth just running out there to get that back air. Unfortunately, actually, that's not so much worth. He did lose his stock in the midst of it. Yeah. But um, great attempt to try and get back to get that early kill. And now it's going to be in the back of his head because, oh crap, the buzz just ran right out at me while I was near the blast zone but with he, no limit, too. He knows that um, not the buzz is going to be afraid to do so. so. Like I said, maybe going to have to wait a little bit longer off the stage. Maybe have to think a bit more about how he's going to recover. Now again, may give someone like six a chance to get a deep edge guard. But right there, a mystery on top of this cloud off the stage. What did? Oh, he hit the spring. Okay, I was yeah, like very he, confused. He, he, yeah, he traded along <laughs> with the spring, uh, did tr trying to give him out there, but did not hit him. Good usage of the Dolphin Slash out of shield there to get that kill. And up smash gonna come through and also get the kill. Red team even in this game back up. Actually, I'm sorry, five to four. All right, looking or five to three actually. The buzz again. Don't forget, lost that stock oh, super that's early. Um, so right now, really good positioning for the red team. They're actually both gonna live. Wow. Oh, but oh this is gonna no. Lose at the bottom, and now it's gonna be a same three, two, or both three stocks for each team. Maybe would have liked to have seen E wait a little bit longer on the um, taxi, not taxi, the angel platform right there, just so his teammate could get back and help him with the same amount of invincibility. I will give some credit as well to Mr. E for throwing out that fair to try and get Odyssey back on stage. Uh, he's like, you know what? I'm not making it back. Here you go. It just 6 wx was ready for it. Trying to get an ed edge guard on him right now, calling out that side B going a little bit high. And Odyssey waiting for him to come up back off stage, but the buzz getting back in there to prevent it. Lilac coming through. Sick text by Odyssey. Actually, is techable on every stage, believe it or not. Oh, okay. but um, not not easy. Easiest to do on Lilac because of the tilts, obviously. Oh, okay. That's gonna be a hard punish from that up smash attempt with the down smash. And now we're looking at a last stock situation coming in here for uh, the red team. Ooh, up smash right there by Odyssey takes the buzz off the top, but not taking the stock. Right now, I like the mix-up by 6WX coming past that ledge, gets that up air, and allows him to get right back with his teammate again so they can try and get stage control back. And they have it right now. Ooh, that Good. Tom, uh, empty hop into that down smash, and that side B is actually going to take it out. That's 6WX in a 2v1 situation. Right, does have the percent advantage, but sometimes the percent advantage doesn't matter against Fox, but it certainly does when you're going to SD. That's huge. He definitely almost had the fair footstool in there, but unfortunately he's going to free fall to death. And now we're looking at a deficit coming in, 24% to 116. But we have seen Mr. E come from behind with all this rage as well. And it's not like he doesn't have the Sonic experience either. Keep in mind, Long Island does have Cyberman. Maybe not as high quality as 6WX, but nonetheless a very good Sonic and probably the best in New York. Yeah, Mr. E also nationally trained, has seen this matchup many times over. Trying to go for the cross-up forward smash a couple times there. Unfortunately not going to get the hit. It's, yeah, you, you see 6WX out there play a little bit more passive now. He has all this percent. And last thing you want to do is, like, another 10%. A forward smash near the ledge can kill. Well, absolutely. Lucina with all that rage, super powerful. Going to get past that spring right there, using the invincibility of Dolphin Slash to get past it. 6WX so fast, those running straight past those dancing blades. Has to be a hard punish on that neutral B there. Managing to get past the spring and actually reversing the situation. Mr. E trying to go for that dare, trying to finish this game off. The situation that was, should have potentially been a 2v1. And now, oh, it might be oh, hit. he has no jump, and now he's forced to recover wow. low, but he, that Dolphin Touch managed to get back. And that fair getting that forward smash out of his face. Right, and now with that bit of percentage that you mentioned, it's just going to be, you know, maybe 10 more percent. And forward smash may be able to kill from just like center stage. That is a move. Oh! <gasps> Oh, oh, he still okay. barely gets back, but he's going to have to re-grab. Oh! It actually didn't hit. Now, oh, back to center stage. The up throw is not going to kill just yet. Good DI by Mystery does know that it is forward, unlike Marth and Lucina, who their up throw, you have to DI that back. And he has just been so on top of these recoveries from 6WX in this latter half. He gets the down throw, or rather the forward throw, sends 6 off the stage. Mr. E bringing this back slowly. He is sitting at 168%, but uh, 6WX very much at kill percent right now. But again, Mr. E sitting at 168. This is that percentage, especially with all this rage from Sonic, despite the fact that it is a little bit stale. Up throw will definitely be killing. But keep in mind, Sonic does have that uh, those two kill throws in the up throw and the back throw, and a pseudo in the F throw as well. So you really have to be careful. Mr. Oh. E just barely getting past the back air. 
Almost gets that as well. Not gonna get that kill of uh, managing to avoid the throw and everything else in between. And 6 wx trying to make his way back on, just side being back in center stage. But now he's on the other side. And oh. almost gets the ledge jump into the back air. And he goes up off the wow, ledge. He couldn't Mr. do anything e. about it. My god, that was a great comeback from Mr. E with such a large percent deficit that he had. They're slowly chipping away and managing to take that out over six. And honestly, he's definitely like, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry to put you in said situation. But man, are you godlike. So, yeah, that was absolutely amazing out of uh, Mr. E coming in there. 6WX almost had a couple opportunities where he could have gotten the kill, but Mr. E able to just get out of it and avoid the grab. Tried to go for ledge trump attempt here and air dodging there. That was going to lead to the eventual death because he couldn't get back to that ledge. And he catches him going a little bit too high with that forward smash. I'm just like the comment, the positioning of that F smash was so good. Because he knew that regardless of where 6 upbeat, he'd either have to be under the stage and would basically be re-grabbing the ledge. Or he'd be out of the way of a potential back air past the ledge. Mm -hmm. So Mr. E's positioning, so excellent right there. I like this switch here to the FD coming in from 6 and the Buzz. Now you're going to give 6WX a little bit more room to run around and get there faster. Now, Odyssey has been doing a great job of covering as well, but compared to the last game, other games he's been having, Blue Team has done a much better job of preventing Odyssey of getting the type of follow-ups he has been most of the day. It's that back there to Buzz ready for the run-up shield from Odyssey, and now they got a whole bunch of percent on him with a little bit of a team combo from the two of them. Nair by, by um, six off the stage. We get a whole lot of percent. A mm, little bit of miscommunication, I'd say, by the blue team. Not going to be able to get a follow. Ooh, wow. That was charge. an excellent air, uh, spot dodge read right there coming in from the four, uh, six, getting that up smash on Odyssey, and that's going to be first stock loss. Right now, Mr. E's still holding that stock down. We're going to probably try and see him be taking those early stocks from the members of the blue team just because of that, the deficit that the red team is at at the moment. Ooh. Odyssey, I would like to see him stick back a bit more. But wow, but Mr. E actually falls out of that limit cross slash. Yeah, that, was, that, that definitely could have led to a kill right there. And Mr. E getting a second lease on life, trying to give the buzz on the side. But the buzz rising with that down air is going to take out that stock. And blue team get, uh, setting themselves up with a 6-4 to four lead. Well, all right, Cloud down air, one of those bizarre moves that it is indeed a down air, but it sends you straight up a lot of the time. It's going to help buzz out significantly in that situation. But that up smash is going to look beautiful for Odyssey. And he's going to be able to take the stock. That down air, very safe on shield after the full hop. Yeah, like I said before, you want an all-purpose tool, go ahead and just throw out down air coming in from Cloud. And he is utilizing it properly. Both both players trying to get the buzz uh, back to the left hand side of the stage, but the buzz not having any of it. These crosses from the buzz, really controlling all the space Ooh. around him, knowing the jump in was gonna come out and gets that up smash. Yeah, got him being a little bit too anti because he's trying to jump over these crosses, just like you just said, and baited it out with that up smash. Very solid. And um, blue team kind of just controlling a, a good amount of center stage here. Yeah, so continuing with this doubles match. Right now, Red Team has the stage control, keeping 6W out. It's a footstool. The bus gonna have to burn limit, but he is still gonna get back to the stage. Right now, up smash by Adi. Controls the stage some more. Right now, the bus gonna get that cross slash Adi on that last stock, as we saw with a up smash from the buzz earlier. Up smash by Adi, down smash as well. Gonna send six off the stage. And the 2v1 by Cloud coming out now for the members of the red team. E off the stage, looking to get the buzz's cloud. Not gonna get it and make it very well. Gonna get to himself, and he does. Losing that stock. Bit of a risky up smash by Adi, and he's gonna be losing that, or rather, taking quite a bit of percentage from the buzz from the cross slash. The buzz still in the second stock. Six on his last. Both members of the red team on their last and at decently high percentages. Mr. Anthony looking for an up smash there. Miss inputs. Gets the jump up up air. Tries to get a stage spike. Was Mystery very cheeky by him? Would have put the red team in a very good situation. A 2v1. Right now, though, red team. And they put the 2v1 situation themselves. And that's going to take out Odyssey. And Mystery is forced to 2v1 in the 3 set situation at 105%. He is going to get one of them. 6WX on that last stock. He did this before. Can Mystery do it once more? Gipping Cloud is definitely his specialty. One of the best players against Cloud in the world. But right there, he's going to lose that stock, get back aired, and end that game number two for the favor of Blue Team. All right. And now going into this, we're seeing how the scores have evened up. The FD counterpick working wonders for the members of the red team. So far, looking really good in general in, in the adaptation. Really no SDs going on that time around. And definitely they looked really good in that game number one until the SD of, um, or rather, they looked really good in that game number one despite some early stocks and some early SDs by DeBuzz. Oh no, they're, they're not, they're not. Yo, yo.
Devin. 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 No, they Alright. Nice dancing blades. Okay, we're good. <laughs> my my, my co commentator back once again to continue this doubles match. Yeah, I had to try to see if the fellow New England crowd was on their way. So, uh, very solid stuff. We're gonna looking at a 1v. Uh, that was one game in peace now, right? Yes. Okay. And uh, I like the fact we're seeing a couple 1v1s coming out here. Odyssey taking a bit more of an aggressive approach, getting stuffed out with the duff on the side, though. I, actually, Odyssey just choosing to stay on 6WX seems like that seems to be the game plan here uh, because the, the speed of Fox able to contest with Sonic so uh, Mr. E can go and try and challenge the Buzz's cloud. All right, again, as I mentioned early in the last game, Mr. E is one of the best players, I would argue, in the world against this character, Cloud. And he is just so consistent at getting those early edge guards, which I think is why they're trying to do the separation tactic of the Buzz and, and Mr. E and Odyssey and Sonic. Despite the fact, you know, Odyssey and uh, Six might be fairly even, um, you know, it's going to be in a position that, in the end, benefits the red team. However, the Buzz winning the 1v1 right there against Mr. E. Yeah, both sides getting a 1v1 in their favor, uh, putting it at five stocks apiece. Well, both of the opposite uh, team members are still rocking 100 plus percent, so very much uh, will want to steal that out quick as possible. Ooh. Gets the back air, Definitely. no tech coming through, and that's going to be the kill on I Odyssey. I almost want to say that was undetectable right there, so close to that side of the stage right there. Looks like, if, if not untouchable. I did see the blue come off, I just don't think that he was prepared for it. Unfortunately, we're just going to get a free fall side B into the blast zone, and that is huge. Now, red team sitting on a much more comfortable a little bit more comfortable lead uh, if they could get rid of that stock off of the buzz right there back air on the corner of the stage uh, but a double pressured back air from uh, Mr. E is going to end the buzz's first stock and put the red team in a very nice position up basically a full stock and honestly um, if they can just finish off um, six right here and then uh, force the uh, he shares the situation. It makes them in a position that is honestly phenomenal and going to get them a fairly, I don't want to say free game number two, but one that is certainly oh, looking well, in their favor. Yeah, I won't say free, especially when it comes to the 6WX and the buzz. They've looked at a couple deficits today and brought it back. Uh, try, in the good spot dodge here to avoid getting clipped or uh, accidentally pulling the trigger on the shield and maybe getting the shields broken. Right blue now. team doing a much better job of controlling center stage now. They're kind of they, they've been opting to go for the one v ones, and blue team just following up once that again. One, another edge guy coming def in. Definitely techable. Yeah, honestly, not as consistent as light so far with all these techs off the stage. Oh, Six. oh my, my god. god, that was almost a deletion of Odyssey's career. And Forward Smash is going to come in, and Austin Ash is also going to come in. And now we're looking at. Wow, just oh, the, well the on support. The top. Odyssey had taken so much percent, but now it's actually in the favor of the blue team. Quite a few dominant stocks by them, and they've been taking it a, in full advantage so far. The buzz has been just do oh my god. He just, Bruh. He just dropped shield. Bruh. He just, he just straight up dropped shield. Bruh. He was winding that up in front of your face. Hypno smash is the realest thing, because <laughs> he, he, he stood directly in front of him. Your shield wasn't going to break. Why'd you let go? Yeah, you heard of Hypno Toe. This is Hypno Hog right now. Mm. Sonic the Hedgehog coming in saying, My fist is spinning in your face. Mm. I now have control of you and you will drop shield. Yo, I saw you talking to my girl around the corner. What you been doing? So, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. E throwing out these neutral beasts on the side, uh, trying to spike him on his recovery there with 6WX. That's gonna be it. Soft hit in there into the cross slash, and that's going to give them the lead. Wow, and after I said, you know, Malulling a fairly dominant performance by the members of the red team, mm -hmm. Blue Team turned it around completely, and it was the explosiveness of 6WX, especially in that last stock on Odyssey, that we saw him take like 50% off one interaction, then another 80% or another 30% right away, and he was at kill percent. Yeah, you know, that, that that whole game was a flip of the script repeatedly, but both times, there was at least like three different occasions where uh, one team ended up taking a relatively decent lead, but... Solid stuff coming in, and now we're going to look at a game four here. Going, running onto Smashville. Nobody changing any team comps up. And DeBuzz and 6 x currently sitting up 2-1, to one, trying to get their rematch against Light and Ralphie in Grand Finals. Wow, double side by DeBuzz. 33% already on Mr. E. The up air right there. Mr. E avoids it very narrowly, but gets a side B to punish. And now he's got a whole lot percent on DeBuzz without a jump, who is still going to be able to make it back to the stage. Yeah, it looks like we're opting to go for the 1v1 situations again. 6WX and uh, Odyssey kind of throwing hands over on the left-hand side while uh, Mr. E just kind of checking out the, the buzz, trying to keep him over on the right-hand side there. Yeah, like you said, he does a great job against Cloud in general, but the buzz is 
not your average cloud. He plays it very much with just a strong fundamental play. He's not trying to abuse you too much with landings or extended combos for up airs. He's just getting his slow hits. So I think. Oh, oh wow, the Ooh. interruption by Mystery is so important right there. Potentially could have been the end of Odyssey if that cross hash follow up had worked the way that the members of the boot team would have wanted. Yeah, keeping Odyssey back in this and managing to get out of all this and end to end, taking 6 wx stock, also getting the up B on the recovery from uh, the Buzz and Red Team taking the first two stocks here. Ooh, what a and nice the follow up. Great answer two. from 6 wx on the side there. Ooh, whole lot of damage coming out of Mystery. 31% in that whole interaction. Double follow up by the members of the blue team. Blue team doing a great job. Kind of just trying to not let Mr. E touch the ground. Forcing him on the side, and the Buzz keeping Odyssey out, just throwing out a bunch of hitboxes so he can't approach and getting that kill off on Odyssey. Wow, now Mr. E, look how much damage he's e. taking. I like this approach that Blue Team has been going with because look how much, like, he, he went to 100 in such a short span, and Odyssey just could not get in, which is normally their game plan. Odyssey is there uh, to be the combo breaker, and Blue Team just having none out of it. All right, and this is like the disruptive factor that the red team has brought to, or rather the blue team has brought to the stage now. Because the red team, we've seen, try to isolate into the 2v1s. Blue team's like, nah, we're going to stay together for as long as possible, force 2v1s when we can. And so far, they've been doing an excellent job of it so far. Mm -hmm. yeah, Odyssey looks like he's trying to go for an attempt to get before on Buzz, but he's not having any of it. And the Buzz reversing the situation, getting knocked away, though, by Mystery. The blue team is not necessarily in the largest lead here. They are both at 100 and, uh, plus percent. So they do need to be very careful with a potential to trying to hit him with the back of there. No, right. The simple loss of two stocks. The buzz going to lose his there. I think he is without a jump. Yeah, he doesn't have a jump. Wow. Actually, he manages to make it back still, though. Magnet Hands coming through, sponsoring House of 3000. Yeah, so I hit the ledge, but Mystery ready to cover the jump from the buzz and Adi covering the landing. And right now, they actually do have a lead, despite a very shallow one at that. Um, not a whole lot of room to wiggle around in this lead. Not going to be. They have to try and just maintain that stage control. Get hits here and there. Uh, Sonic looking for those hits off the top and 6WX. Um, on 6WX looking really solid overall when catching these landings. Yeah, red team currently be up on the three stocks here, but we, as we're seeing, both at 130 percent. And if they get rid of one of those stocks, we're going to force the share stock uh, situation. Oh, oh, we have a shield break, break coming in, and the forward smash is actually going to hit 6WX. The oh, skirmishes no. came through, but uh, Odyssey is going to lose his stock, and now Mr. E at 115% on his last stock Oh, here. that's going to be it. Wow, yeah, now Odyssey going to be forced into the 2v1. But the thing is, at this low percentages, going to get the grab off the nair. I do like that quite a bit. Forces 6WX, you know, get not too much of a punish, being the low end like of that back throw. Mm -hmm. This is still, this is, is doable for Odyssey. If he could catch maybe a jump or something with an up smash, but he just cannot touch the ground. The, the buzz not trying to let him touch it. Good the shield buzz. on that downer. The buzz has a fun, oh, Ooh. oh, he got him. Oh. Almost catches him with the t uh, t way as well. Odyssey just dancing around the buzz, trying to bring this to a game five, but the buzz trying to seal this out. And that's one thing that you notice from Odyssey, is that he will opt to go for the up throws quite a bit, more than a lot of other boxes. His up throw mix-ups are so good, especially at center stage, where he just sees we're going to land, immediately re-grabs. Sees at center stage, land, immediate re-grab. However, this is exactly where you don't want to be against the buzz. His ledge trapping is so good. Wow, Cloud, or rather Fox sliding a little bit too much. Uh, he blew his jump, he's forced to go into that situation, oh. and that the... Downer oh is actually not going to kill. Side B coming in, and the neutral are going to push him back off the buzz with all the advantage right now. <gasps> oh my god, the, the buzz, buzz! Almost killing himself with that downer, but he it's okay. Take it, it worked out. Like, oh god. <laughs> my goodness. Joining us, unfortunately, to see her foxy brethren lose right there is Luna. Yeah, La Luna coming back into the room behind the uh, the setup, stressing out, I think, Devin. <laughs> what? Are you, what?